Alright guys, what I got here is a Lincoln MKZ and I decided to go ahead and check the thermostat because both of the hoses going to the radiator were totally freaking cold, okay? There was no, like, no flow was going through them. And, uh, yeah. Look at this in here. I already stuck my finger in that. Look at the, look at the gunk. It is actually so, almost so packed and it's just the bottom of the neck of where the thermostat was at. I can only imagine the reason why this thing ain't got no flow. Sorry for the lighting. The reason why this thing ain't got no flow is because that freaking whole radiator is plugged with this shit. Whatever this shit is, I don't know what the hell could cause all this gook in there. It's like sour freaking milk. It's what it looks like. Okay? It's freaking bad. I mean, literally almost got the hole up here plugged off. This is not good at all I've never seen so much stop leak or whatever I can see I can see particles in the thing that stop leak like a luma seal someone was putting some type of stop leak in here and I don't know if this thing does have a water pump issue like uh, the last garage expected it to be in a water pump um, and then she towed it out of there so now I'm just taking a look and giving my own thoughts on it and right now I mean seeing this and knowing it has no flow, uh, I'm going to suggest a radiator. And she still might need a water pump. Uh, this system seriously needs flushed. And I, I just, wow. That shit is really in there. Oh. Someone's getting some bad news. I can't help it. At least the thermostat wasn't hard to do. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll still change the stat run it see what happens but i don't think that's going to make any difference in this there's too much gunk in here i'm betting any money you know the size of cooling fins in the radiator they're, they're pretty small and the amount of that stuff that's cooked up just in the bottom of that housing i can only imagine what the inside of that radiator looks like